Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, what's up? My name is Caitlin, and today we're gonna be doing a, another Laura Lee Los Angeles video. Um, today we're gonna be talking about the Sleigh Bell collection. Again, this is an older collection, but I did purchase like everything on her website during the Labor Day sale, and I do wanna review it all just to kind of test it out, show you guys, see if maybe you guys are interested in it, or maybe if you wanna wait till the next sale, I'm sure there will be one sale, not sell. Um, but this is a seven piece set. We've got three loose highlighters, three liquid lips, and then the pressed pigment palette. So we, of course, will start with swatches. I think I'm gonna start with the highlighters. This is also a really weird angle. Is that better or worse? I don't know, the sun is being a pain in my butt right now. Like, over here it's super light. Over here it's super not light, so. Yeah, we're going to be dealing with that throughout this video, but let's talk about these three loose highlighters. I think this is my least, um, ex part I'm least excited about in the collection is what I want to say there. Um, but this one is called Sugar and Spice. The packaging is cute. It's like that soft touch, um, plastic that's got like a frosted look to it. And then it's got a pink lid, like a rose pink with some sparkle can't really see it on camera but there is like a silver sparkle to it and then it's got the logo there this shade is sugar and spice so let's go ahead and get a little swatch of this i'm pretty sure i already swatched all of these for you guys but if you missed that video i'll go ahead and swatch them again this one looks like that not a lot of pigment came off there so let's put some in this lid here there we go Looks like that. It's a really pretty gold sparkle. Can you even see that? There you go. That's pretty. I'm worried that these might all be a little too dark for me is my biggest worry here, but they are all pretty and I will use them for something, I'm sure. This one is called Sweet and Saucy. This is a little more pink than the last one is. I honestly don't know which one I want to use either. We'll see when I swatch them, I guess. Yeah, that one's got like a shift to it. Is that one on the top of my hand there? It's like a pink to orange. There you go. This lighting, you guys. I use natural lighting, so when the sun's in like a weird position, it just doesn't help me at all. And the last one is called Warm and Toasty. This is a more bronzy shade. This one seems like it's probably gonna be the darkest, I think. Yeah, ooh, that one came out a lot more than the other two did. Yeah, a lot more. Ooh. Ironically though, I think it's my favorite. Definitely too dark for my skin, way too dark, but I think it's pretty. It'd be a pretty eyeshadow too. Um, I think the one I'm gonna put on my face is gonna be the first one, which was something, sugar and spice. Ooh. Chopping things, okay. But there's the three swatched for you guys. Let's take Sugar and Spice, that first one. And I'm gonna dump some in the lid again. We're gonna do a, a generous amount in there. And I'm gonna pick up my favorite highlighting brush here, which is the SL Miss Glam Tapered Highlighting U36. And we're gonna put this on my face. Ooh, pretty. When I get in the light, it's pretty. So right off the bat, not my favorite highlighter in the world, but it's pretty. I just feel like it's almost too dark. I just get on the nose. Ooh, that may have been a little much on the forehead there. Ooh. That's okay. We'll make it work. It is pretty. It's very glittery, though. So that is okay. So let's move on to the little palette here. There are six shades in here. It's just another one of her little mini pressed pigment palettes. Super cute. Let's go ahead and swatch, of course. First shade is called bright light and it's a matte 
um, like cream shade here. You're not gonna be able to see that on my hand. Next one is called Wishlist, which is a really pretty like golden shade. Ooh, that's really pretty. I feel like in the light it's too washed out, so I have to keep putting it over here. Um, and then we have Cherry Chocolate, which is a um, like a blackened cherry. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like that shade a lot. Then we have three more. We've got Festive, which is a light pink, like duochrome. It's like a pink to orange, kind of like the highlight. Wrapped Up, which is a really pretty green. Ooh, it's like a green that shifts. It's so pretty. And the last shade is called Jolly. Almost dropped it, but we saved it. Ooh, uh, Jolly's really pretty too. It's like a silver with a purple shift to it. I have no idea what I'm about to do with this palette though. I feel like there's not really a transition shade in here, but we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and go in with bright lights, that matte shade. There are, there is only two mattes in this palette. But we're gonna just put that all over to kind of set the concealer that I put down off camera. And I guess let's just go in with like a really light little bit of that cherry chocolate. I'm gonna put that in the crease. Just like a very, very light amount of it. Like so, we're gonna go in for a second dip. Oop, that was a little much. We'll make it work. I just don't know what to what to do here. This palette's really pretty. And I like all the shades in it. I just don't don't really know what to do with these shades because there's not really I don't know. We'll figure something out. Let's do let's do wrapped up that green on do 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 a brush. We'll use this brush. This is the Luxie Large Shader. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. Into the crease as well, and then on the inner corner too. I'm gonna kind of make a halo eye here, leaving the center open, of course. Ooh. Kind of looks like I got punched in the face. We're gonna fix it though, don't worry. <laughs> I hope. Just like that. Now let's take a flat shader brush and pick up Wishlist, that gold shade. I'm gonna put that in the center. Kind of blending the two together all the way up there into the crease. doesn't look perfect yet, but we're going to go back and forth between the two shades here. Like so. Now I'm going to go back in with that brush, not adding any more pigment with the green brush. And kind of tap the areas where the gold and the green meet. And then run this through the crease again. Same thing on this side. That was super quick. Now let's take more of cherry chocolate and go in the crease a little bit more just now that we know. Somebody's blaring music outside if you can hear that. I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line as well. Christmassy look, which makes sense because I'm pretty sure this was her holiday look or holiday collection last year. Same brushes, picking up wrapped up that green. Outer corners of the lower lash line. Connecting the two up top here. I 
And then we'll do the gold in the center. That's the look. <laughs> We're gonna take a uh, clean brush here, like whatever I used to powder my face earlier, and kind of wipe away any fallout that might be there. And then I'm gonna take Warm and Toasty, that like bronzy highlight from the little collection here. I'm gonna pick some of that up on a little brush here. This is a Luxie Precision Crease brush. And I'm gonna put that on the brow bone. If you can see that. There we go. And in the inner corner as well. Like so. I look very tired today with this eye look, I think. Okay. Is that really the eye look? That's it? Not terrible. I think I'm going to take that brush with the green on it and go up a little bit higher over here on the outer corner. Let's throw on some mascara. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Okay, now that mascara is on, I don't hate the eye look, but I also don't really love it either. Um, it's a quick little eye look. It's kind of pretty. It'd be pretty for like, um, maybe like a New Year's look, like a simple little smoky eye. That's kind of what I'm getting from it, but it's not my favorite. I just feel like, I don't know, this palette doesn't really inspire me that much, I guess. Like, it's pretty and I like all of the colors individually. I just don't know as like as far as it being a palette. I don't know because like her other two little six pans like this I feel like I can get a whole look from and even a couple looks. This one I feel like this was really the only look that was like speaking to me and I don't know. I like it. I'll use it again. I'll just use it in conjunction with other palettes not on its own. Okay moving on to the last part of the collection that is these guys the three liquid lips. Um, one looks like it's a metallic formula, the other two look matte like the Nudie with Tootie collection. Let's see. This one is called Pouty and Nice. That's pretty. This matches my shirt like perfectly. Um, they smell like the other ones. Let's go ahead and pop this on. Ugh. Got it in my hair. This isn't gonna be like the best application in the world because I'm just gonna take it off so I can try on the other shades, but oops, just to give you an idea. Oh, look at that, <laughs> cute. Okay, I actually really like the shade. I think it's pretty. Um, it's like a really springtime color to me, but I know this collection came out in the winter time, so that doesn't really make sense, but <laughs> I like it. Um, I'm not really somebody who's like, this is a springtime color, this is a fall color. Like, I, I wear what I want to wear all the time, so. That's that. Really pretty color, though. You're getting it everywhere. Okay. Next one is called Rose Icing. It's that metallic looking one. Oh yeah, it's definitely metallic. This would be pretty in the center of Patty and Nice. Hmm. I'm not really somebody who's like huge into metallic lips. Hmm. 
It was a lot thinner than the other formula does, though. Okay, it's not as metallic-y as I thought it would be. It's kind of pretty. Mm, I don't love it. I don't know, this would be something I would put in the center of a lip, especially with Patty and Nice. I think that'd be a really cute combo, but on its own, I don't think I would wear this. But I don't hate it. Just don't really like it. <laughs> and the last shade, which I think is gonna be my favorite, is called Kissmas. Yeah, this is definitely a Christmas collection. I'm super late to the game on this one. Ooh, yes, that's so, so pretty. I like this one. I really like this color a lot, actually. This is really, really pretty for Christmas or any holiday, really. Valentine's Day, New Year's, whatever you celebrate. I think this would be pretty. Don't love it with this eye look, but I do like the color a lot. Um, I have tried the Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lip formula already. I did do the Nudie Patootie collection and I wound up wearing that to the movies actually. Went and saw it too. If you guys haven't seen that yet, I highly recommend it. It's hilarious, which I did not think would be the word that I would use to describe that movie, but freaking loved it. <laughs> so definitely go check it out. But I really like this color a lot. I also liked the um, Patty and Nice color. Not huge on the metallic one, but again, I will try it in like the center of my lips and see if I like it that way. But this color is fun. Really, really like it. But anyway, the formula is what I was talking about. I'm sorry you guys have been sniffling a lot, but my allergies have been killing me here lately. Like, I got super sick last week because of my allergies and like it turned in. I have like acute bronchitis or dormant bronchitis, whatever it's called. And every time I get like a flare up, that flares up. <laughs> so I was like super, super sick last week. But now I just got like the remnants of like the sniffles. So I'm sorry if you guys have allergies and you probably know because this year has been like terrible so far. But anyway, the formula of these liquid lips is really nice. It lasts a long time. Like I said, I wore it to the movies and I was eating candy and drinking pop. <laughs> Terrible things to do, I should be doing, but I was and it lasted throughout it. I did have a little bit of transfer like down here from doing that, like chewing on my straw, but I think it was the lip liner I was wearing. I was wearing one of my e.l.f. liquid, or not liquid lips my e.l.f. lip liners and I think it was that that transferred not the Laura Lee lip, liquid lip because I've worn it on its own and it didn't transfer but it did when I had the lip liner on so I think it was the lip liner <laughs> but anyway I really like the formula of the liquid lips I like two of the three colors I enjoy this palette I like the shades in it a lot they're really pretty I just don't love them together like I want more in here these would be I would love these shades if these were like single shadows and her like palette that she has of the single shadows I would love all of these shades but as a palette I don't know I feel like I need like a warm brown or like even a black or some deeper color in here than just this one because I don't really I don't know there, there needs to be one more man here that's what I think but there's that as for the highlighters I'm not crazy about these so far. Um, I don't love loose highlighters to begin with because I just think they're messy, but I of course was gonna give it a chance. Um, it's not ugly. I like it on my nose. I just don't, I feel like it's super glittery and you can kind of like see the shadow when I'm looking forward. And when I turn, you can just see the glitter particles. So don't love it, but I don't hate it. <laughs> so that's my review on this collection. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Um, this eye look though, I'm more and more that I look at it, I'm like, eh, and it does not go with this lip at all. But that's everything, you guys. Um, that was it for this collection. Let me know if you've tried it down below what your favorite parts were and what parts you didn't like so much. And yeah, don't forget to like this video before you go. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one.
Bye, guys.